Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial on how you can generate your own QR codes in JavaScript. So QR codes are a technology that has become much more popular in recent years with the push towards more contactless technologies and you can easily generate your own QR codes in JavaScript with the help of this package that's available on NPM called QR code. So if you're working in Node and you want to install this package, you can do so by typing in the following code in the terminal, npm install dash dash save QR code, but I'm going to be using it in front-end JavaScript. So what I did before this tutorial was I found a CDN link. So there are other CDN links available, but the one I'm using is available via CDN.js. So I'm going to copy this script tag into my HTML document and I'm going to paste the CDN link in the head. And now in my script, so now I have access to the full QR code JS library. So let's start with a basic example. I'm going to create a new QR code. So what I have available to me now that the CDN link is in the head of my document is an object here called QR code. And what I want to do is to create a new instance of it. Now QR code, when you create a new one, it's expecting two arguments. The first one is the element where you want the QR code to appear. So you can enter document.getElement by ID QR output here, but I prefer doing it beforehand and then entering a reference to it just so the code is a little bit cleaner. So I'll call this QR element and I put that in the first position. Now the second element is the data that you want to be contained in the QR code. So you're probably familiar with QR codes containing a URL like this. So this would contain a link to my website. So this code is already enough to generate the QR code. So let's take a look in the browser at the result. So if you scan this with your smartphone, you'll get a suggested link to my website. Now you might be used to URLs. You can also pass in messages to the QR code if you want. So it doesn't have to be a URL. It just has to be string data. Okay. Now, if you want to customize the QR code, what you need to do is instead of entering a string, in the second argument position instead entering an object and then you can specify options within this object so the first thing you want to specify is the text so again this is going to be a link to my website and you can also specify the width so i'm going to give that a width of 300 pixels a height of 300 pixels and you can also specify the color of the QR code. So you could say color light. This I'm going to set to purple here. This could also be a hex value. Color light, I'm going to set to yellow. So now the QR code should be looking quite different from before, but it's containing exactly the same information. Now one more thing I want to show you is how you would go about creating an app where the user can input some information and a QR code is generated on the basis of that. So I'm going to go back to the basic QR code that I had before, where I just hard coded a URL for the data it contains. And I'm going to uncomment out some elements I created before this tutorial. So there's a user input field here with an ID of user input and a button. And when the user clicks it, it's going to generate the QR code. So the way that I would program this is I want to select the button, which has an ID of BTN. And I want to add an event listener to the button. When the button is clicked, the function in the second position that I'm writing here will run. And what I want to happen is I want a QR code to be generated. 
but now instead of the hard-coded URL, what I want it to be is the value of the input field with the information the user has input. So I'm going to select this here, save it under user input. And I want the value of this element, not the element itself. So I select value and user input goes in the second position here. Now this will already be working, but there's a problem, which is part of the reason why I wanted to show you this example. So I'm going to just type A here and this generates a QR code. Now if I want to generate another one, you see what this library is doing is I think appending each QR code inside the output div. So what you want to do to make sure that you don't end up with a result like this, we have lots of QR codes. What you want to do is to clear the contents of QR output which would clear any QR code which is contained in there before appending a new one. So we already selected the QR output div here under the reference QR element. And to clear the inner contents of it, you can set the inner HTML to an empty string. Now, when the user clicks the button, any content inside that div is going to be cleared before a QR code is appended. So let's just test the result. If I say A, now I say B, you see that it's not appending multiple QR codes now. So that's it for this short tutorial on how you can generate QR codes in JavaScript. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. And don't forget, you can see more content like this by subscribing to the channel.